We're here at the Golden Nugget Flea Market in Lambertville, New Jersey, and as the name connotes, there's lots of treasures to be found inside. I'm dying to get inside this flea market, but before I do, I have to keep my list in mind. I'm looking for some storage solutions, some vintage jewelry as a gift for a friend of mine, and some ephemeral finds that I want to use as an artwork project. You know, MP3s are cool, but vintage vinyl, it's cooler. Come to a flea market, chances are there'll be at least 10 booths of people who have records like this. And you can put this in a frame and hang it on the wall. I always say you see old friends at flea markets every time you go. Bob, you're late. You know this market opens up at 5 a.m. I know. What is I it, 1231? I decided to sleep in. It's hot, it's schwitzy. I'm not gonna ask you to pull anything out of the truck, okay. but my eye is gravitating towards a saucy little nurse here that falls under the category of ephemera, yeah. and she's showing just enough leg. I like the way her stocking is Bob clipped there. Bob loves pinups. He's bought pinups over the years. I do. I do, I do. And I like that she's called Sport Model because it's sort of a double entente with the car and with her yes, and all yes. that kind of stuff. And that's an elf grin, so that's a, that's a really good pin. Wow. He's one of the famous pinup guys, Teddy, elf grin, yeah. uh, Vargas, you know. Sure, all. sure. Good guys. They're so wonderful, and I'm so excited that this one was laying here. Yes. Um, I'm just wondering, like, I know you put it in a, a new frame. Yes, I did. Right? To protect it, because it's an old frame. Right, exactly. But this is what somebody at home can do, oh, is yeah. if you find one of these at a flea market, this people don't always know. This is a 99 cent only frame, okay? All Amen and hallelujah and to that. And you look for wood, don't buy plastic. You can find it for a dollar. Yes. And then to protect it, that's it. You just pop it in there. I'm going to take this for $20. Okay, you got it, Bob. You got it. I paid $20 for this saucy little lady. I'm going to spend another $10, buy her a proper frame, and live with her for a while. And appreciate that this piece of ephemera survived. Carmon. Yes. I'm going to ask you the million dollar question. You got it. How did you get into doing all of this? I have uh, two galleries and whole whole mission is to help local art and to incorporate everything that made it's made necessary in the United States. Oh, wow. So the, the arts and crafts and uh, vintage, everything like uh, these things you were interested in, it's, you know, these are the products that America used to manufacture everything itself. Well, what I find interesting is also like where the paint is rubbed off is the way people held this item, right? So you understand that it was held like this. There's less finish right here. You look straight through there and wow, Perfect. the world is a whole lot closer. <laughs> is that a naked lady across the booth? <laughs> wow, these things really work too. That's the thing about antiques. It's, it looks uh, good, condition. but I could condition also spy on my neighbors. Another great thing about flea markets is that sometimes they spark an interest in a new hobby. I'm surrounded by mixing bowls. Maybe I'll start baking. I'm always caught with my hand in the cookie jar. My grandmother had these, and I love seeing them. I also love the idea of actually using them. And vintage storage is something that's always on my mind. These things are everywhere at a flea market, and they bring a bit of nostalgia and usefulness into your life. So today I'm looking for a gift, and whenever I do, I don't head to a big box store, I head to a flea market. I'm in front of an array of costume jewelry, and I can think of at least five people in my life who would love to have just one of these rings. This dealer has thought of everything. Not only has he displayed everything beautifully on the table, but he created this little think tank for people who are deciding which ring they wanna buy. I turned his think tank into a pink tank, one for my friend Mary, one for each of her daughters. I'm walking away with three hot looking rings and I've had a great time selecting them. I have spent some long, 
happy moments over there. I'm very pleased. Trying to decide upon a ring. Um, you have so many great ones. Thank I can't you. believe it. A lot of selection. Now, now do you shop, I don't want specifics because you never give away a source, That's but okay. like, but do you shop estate sales? I have these people who are like runners and they know what I like. They've been buying for me uh, for many years. I okay. pay a little bit more than if I go out to say estate sales and buy individually and they bring me a lot of stuff at one time. I don't always buy everything, but I often buy in large lots. Thank well, you. I guess you buying in volume translates into me getting bargains. Exactly. Right. Well, I really appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice talking nice to, to you. Nice to see you. You too. Take care. Sometimes people don't know what they would do with a vintage suitcase. And I say, well, they look great sitting here like this, but you could actually store things in them. Small apartments, people can store off-season clothing, socks, hats, scarves, gloves, hiding the Christmas presents so the kids don't know where they are, and it still looks really cool setting outside like this. You know, cameras are still a relatively new invention, and they continue to evolve every single day. That's why I'm always interested in vintage cameras, to see where it is that we came from. Hold it in your hand. Learn how to take a photograph. Teach someone else how to take a photograph. Take a moment. And chances are, you might develop a new hobby and learn how to separate yourself from your phone. There are hundreds of thousands of things here at this flea market. You can literally lose yourself here. It's a great way to spend a day without your phone, without the worries of whatever's going on, learn a little bit about history, and have a lot of fun.